the next day my husband really put like chicken malai to kabote and I knew how to make it but this was the first time I've ever made it and he really enjoyed it but it wasn't for me so normally it would be more spicy than this um, but I just crushed one green chilli after my spaghetti bolognese incident so I just used one chilli crushed it up really fine and at the same time I just crushed up some uh, coriander fresh coriander as well and I made that into a paste I put it into a large bowl and I've added in garlic and ginger paste salt pepper white pepper now I've listed everything below as I've said but you can adjust accordingly what you don't have don't add it in this garam masala powder I know sometimes people don't have certain ingredients I've had some of my friends saying that um, and that's fine just try your best to make it with what you can you can get ready made spice mixtures as well um, from your local Indian um, shops or even Asda can do these kind of things nowadays as well here you'll see what makes it different I've added in cream and the yogurt and mix it and this is what makes it the malai makes it the creamy um, tikka bodhi as opposed to your normal chicken tikka I added in a drop of lemon juice add the corn flour this will give it the crispy um, effect I believe this is normally made on maybe like barbecues or maybe griddles. At this stage when I made the malai de kabote marinade I added in the chicken. Now I added in one whole baby chicken and I added in half a bag of chicken thighs. So I believe it's probably a total of about half a kilo of meat. Um, you can obviously add in as much as you need, as much or as less as you need. But this was absolutely fine for our family. Um, it's really like creamy tasting. It's probably better with just um, like breast or thigh meat. But sometimes when my husband's in the mood for eating something and I don't have a certain type of meat, I'll just use what I have. Um, just for that same effect. Because sometimes you don't always have the cut of meat that's required. But these recipes that I show you is to show you that you can use what you have and still get really, really tasty food. And I try my best to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I guess sometimes for certain recipes you do need to go and get special ingredients. You may not always have it at home. But it's just about extending your palate, trial and error, seeing what you like and what you don't like. This is what I've done in order to be able to cook so many nice recipes okay so at this stage um, I just topped it up with a little bit more coriander and then I covered it in the fridge um, you need to marinate it for about 3-4 hours after 4 hours I took the mixture out of the fridge I covered my hands up with some of these latex gloves I hate anything getting on my hands so and then what I did was I have these wooden skewers so I just skewered all of the meat up all of the boneless pieces and then all of the boned pieces I just put them around the tray the kind of tray that I used was a baking tray but it has like a grill um, in the middle and that's quite good to let all any of the juices flow to the bottom and it keeps the chicken nice and crisp um, so once I made all the skewers I'll show you how I put everything onto the baking tray so here I was able to make three malai tikka boti skewers and then any of the rest of the meat so any of the leg pieces drumstick pieces I just put them around the tray and then the remainder marinade I just put on top of the chicken didn't want it to go to waste and most importantly you need to melt some butter or ghee and then brush it onto the chicken prior to cooking it and then even midway through cooking I would advise that you turn 
then blend the kabuti around, turn the pieces over in order for it to cook evenly. And if you want, when you, I only buttered one side, but even if when you're turning it over, add some more butter on the underside, and that will give it a really, really nice effect. So after about 30-40 minutes, that was it cooked, and I just topped it with coriander leaf and um, served it with some peri peri mayo and some mayonnaise and it went down really well.